So welcome again. So the next question, question four says, expand in Fourier series the function f of x equals to a x squared plus bx plus c for x in the interval 0 to 2 pi. So here we are not going to uh, struggle so much because we have known some Fourier series of some functions from the previous examples we have done. So uh, this is how we handle this. So we say that from example two, we know that x squared is given by four pi squared over three plus four summation n from one to infinity cosine n pi uh, nx over n squared minus four pi summation n from one to infinity of sine of nx over n. This is the solution we obtain from question two. And we have all, uh, we have already explained the steps on how to arrive at this. Actually, this is in the interval zero to two pi. So therefore, a x squared plus b x plus c is the same as for a pi squared over three plus b pi plus c and then plus four a and then summation n from one to infinity cos of nx over n squared and then minus four pi a minus two b <coughs> summation n from one to infinity of sine nx over n. So that is what you obtain. Also, the, the thing is that now, so to get the value, uh, so what, what is happening is that you are multiplying by a, this equation, and then that will give us the value of this part here. And then plus, we have also obtained the value for expansion of f of x equals to x in the same interval 0 to, zero to 2 pi. So we multiply uh, the value by b, and then we simply add the constant c. So that is what you obtain. Uh, so, or maybe, uh, or if you want to work it out, you can as well say f of x is given by a naught over two plus summation n from one to infinity of a n cosine n x plus b n sine of n x. So a naught will be given by one over pi uh, zero to two pi. And then the function is a x squared plus b x plus c d x. So this will be one over pi into a x squared x cubed over three plus b x squared over two plus c x zero to two pi. So when you put in, you get one over pi into so we have eight a pi cubed over three 
plus 4b. So 4b plus square over 2 is the same as 2b pi squared and then plus 2c pi. So that is a note. So we can call this one equation one. And then a n would be given by one over pi integral from zero to two pi of a x squared plus b x plus c. Uh, then cosine of n x dx. And then this would be the same as one over pi integral zero to two pi of a x squared dx plus one over pi zero to two pi of b x dx. So we're multiplying by cosine this and then cosine nx dx plus cos nx dx and then plus 1 over pi 0 to 2 pi c cos nx dx. So then now at this point, so we have one over pi. So a n equals to zero to two pi. So or maybe let me call this. Uh, let let me label them in, dif uh, in different. So let me call this one integral one, integral two, integral three. So integral one will have. Uh, factor out a so a over pi integral from 0 to 2 pi of x squared cosine nx dx and then I do not have to evaluate this one because I've done it in question 2 so I just same as a over pi this other integral here 0 to 2 pi of x squared cosine nx dx we obtain the answer as over n squared so therefore the answer will be 4a over n squared pi and then i2 will be b over n integral from 0 to 2 pi and then cosine of nx dx so we should be b over n integral from 0 to 2 pi so remember there's an x here so this so this is x cosine of nx dx and then from example three, we have also evaluated integral from zero to two pi of x cosine of x, uh, cosine of nx, and the answer was zero. So therefore this will be zero. And I3 is the same as C over pi integral zero to two pi of cosine of nx dx. And when you evaluate this one, it will be c over pi. So we have sine nx over n, 0 to 2 pi. So sine of multiples of 360 is 0. So therefore, this will also give us 0. So therefore, which means that our an 
So therefore, AN will be given by So this 4a n squared pi, 4a n squared pi. And bn, similarly, is 1 over pi, 0 to 2 pi. Function is ax squared plus bx plus c, then sine nx dx. So this one also is split in 3. So Bn will be 1 over pi integral 0 to 2 pi of Ax squared sine Nx dx plus 1 over pi 0 to 2 pi Bx sine Nx dx plus 1 over pi 0 to 2 pi of C and nx dx. Also, we let this one to be i1, i2, i3. So therefore, uh, i1 is a over pi, 0 to 2 pi, x squared sine nx dx. So which will be a over pi and then integral for <coughs> excuse me, 0 to 2 pi x squared sine nx from our calculation we have gotten the answer to be so we have um, This, this is the same as A. So this is uh, the same as A times minus 4 pi over N. So that will give us minus 4 pi A over N. Now remember, remember at this point here for for this value here. For a for a one, do the same as you take a time the value of this integral was obtained was given was, was given by four over n squared the value of 1 over pi integral of this one here. So which gives us 4a over n squared. Yeah, so that's what should be the answer. And then uh, this is what we have. So therefore now uh, the function will be given by a x squared plus b x plus c equals to a naught over 2, and from our calculation, our A naught our A naught is given by this value here. So we divide everything by 2. So when you divide this one by 2, we get 4A pi, 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 pi cubed So, but remember, we are multiplying by 1 over pi, so that this is the same as, uh, if you were to rewrite it the same as 8 over 3a pi squared plus 2b pi, because 1 pi goes with pi, and then plus 2c. So when you divide this one by 2, we get 
4a pi squared over 3 plus b pi and then plus c. So uh, 4a pi squared over 3 plus b pi plus c. And then uh, plus summation n from 1 to infinity a n from our calculation here is 4 a over n squared. So 4 a over n squared cosine of n x plus b, which is minus Okay, so uh, so that that will just the value for obtain for a one. I have not finalized getting the value of b. So you need I uh, need to find the value of the in second integral. So the second integral here i two will be the same as b uh, times one over pi zero to two pi of x sine n x dx. And then from question three, uh, we have the value of one over pi integral zero to two pi x and nx to be minus two over pi. So the same as b minus two over n is the same as minus two b over n. So this you get it from three. So this is for i2. And then this other one here, you the same as a c over pi integral sine nx dx 0 to 2 pi and from question question 3 still uh, that value gives us so when you integrate this one here when you integrate sine you get minus cos then over n so putting in 0 to pi uh, to 2 pi, you get the value to be 0 because cosine of 360 is 0, cosine of 360 is 1, and then cosine of 0 is cosine of 0 is still 1. So that I3 gives you 0. So therefore, which means that the value of bn, bn will be given by i1 plus i2, plus i3, this will be 0. So we'll have i1, which is minus 4 pi a over n, and then this other one will be minus 2b over n. So I can write this one as minus minus or plus minus 4 pi a over n minus 2b over n and then sine of n x so which when you expand uh will be the same as 4a pi squared over 3 plus b pi plus c and then plus 4a summation n1 to infinity of cos nx over n squared at uh, this one uh, we can factor out uh, say minus so So the value here just a moment. 
So I2 Yeah, so I2 is given by, so this minus, yeah, that's correct. So minus, uh, say, 4, 5, and then plus, should be plus 2, B, and then summation, n from 1 to infinity, of sine of nx over n. Yeah, so that's that's what we need to get for that given. Given function. So uh, just remember so uh, what you stated here. So the thing should be that. Um, so this must be plus because you're factoring out negative. So that's how we get that. 